Digital post-its, stickies or sticky notes, however you choose to refer to them, are a very important tool when it comes to your productivity, regardless of what you do. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I personally use it in my workflow as a singer, songwriter, music producer on my MacBook Pro. And you don't have to buy any software. I thought I needed to buy another sticky note that had more features, but the built-in stickies on the Mac OS has been phenomenal for me. It's very simple. And so that's the reason why I thought I needed to get something else. But after playing around with it, I realized I don't need to buy anything. So if you want to learn how you can use it intuitively, then watch the video through to the end. First of all, I want to um, point out that I am on the Mac OS Monterey version. Just putting it out there so that you can know what version of Mac OS I'm on. So the first thing I like to look out for in a good sticky note app is something that's very inconspicuous. It doesn't get in the way. And then the next thing is something that can float, like that has the float over every other app feature. To open up the stickies, I'm going to hit command spacebar to open the spotlight. And then I'm going to start typing stickies and it's going to pull up. Once you click on stickies, you are going to have it open just like this. If it's closed like this, you can double click on the bar there to toggle it open and close. One thing I like is whatever you put on top here, you don't have to name the thing. You just have to put your name in the very first line. And once you toggle it close, it's going to become the name of that bar. The next thing I like to do is change the color so that it's not so bright. Usually it will be the yellow color like this, but I don't want something so bright. I want something like the gray that's just like very inconspicuous. So now that we have that, you can drag it around anywhere. It's a very thin bar like that. Now I'm going to head over to Ableton Live to simulate my workflow. Once I click on Ableton Live, you can see that my stickies is now gone. And the reason is because it's not floating yet. So I'm going to minimize that, click on my stickies, and I'm going to go to Windows and select Float on Top. Or we can use the shortcut command option command F to keep it on top. Now this thing is on top. So if I go back to my Ableton, you can see that it's on top. And I like to just hide it somewhere where it feels like it's part of my DAW. So I just like to keep it somewhere here in the search bar. And if I go to colors again and show you, put it back to yellow. So usually when I want to use the stickies, I try to blend it into the app that I'm working on so that it just feels like it's a part of the thing. So I'm going to go back to colors and put it back to gray and you see how it fits nicely now. So it's actually right in my search bar here and I can go in and type stuff if I want to, it doesn't get in the way. And if I want to pull it down, I can pull it down like so and use it while I'm recording, I can just arm um, any recording, any recording track and record just like I would if I was recording and it wouldn't get in the way. If I wanted to work on this, I can do that. If I wanted to edit my text or anything, I can do it while I can still work on my DAW. And if you want to close the sticky, you're going to get a prompt asking you if you want to save this. And if it's something you want to refer back to, you click on save. But if you click on delete note, the next time you open stickies, you're not going to get access to the text that you had in the stickies. So take note of that. Consider subscribing if you want to learn more about making money online, freelancing, productivity tips. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.